Let's start with the offense. Ray, what grade are you giving the offense? I gave the offense a C plus. I, I think, listen, that first throw to Sam Darnold made to Robbie Anderson is one in a million throw. But then again, not taking care of the football in the pocket. He took too many chances with the football today for me. That throw to me was absolutely fantastic. That's the best echelon that Sam Darnold does. When you get the ball out of his hands, he does stuff like this. But again, he is the last line of defense. His decision-making process has to be better. They let Sam they let Le'Veon Bell get 25 touches on the ground. That'll go towards coaching, but I gave him a solid C+. Plus. Bart? I gave him a C plus too, um, but I don't think it was all his fault. I mean, no, no, you look I, at you look at fault. Watt. That's his seventh force fumble of the, of the, of the uh, season. He has a knack for that, and you're hoping that you get a little bit more resistance from Art Shell, who we knew was going to have a tough, tough. Brandon Shell. We wish yeah, it was Art Shell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Brandon, Brandon Shell. We knew it was going to be tough sledding for him against that defense. I thought they held up against a team that got way more. Um, you know, quarterback pressures than, than mostly any team in the league. You talk about, like I said, they have four guys with over 40 pressures. You know, they only give up a couple of sacks and, you know, yeah, give up, turn over the ball. But, you know, all in all, they were, they were going against a top-tier defense and they held, they held their own. So I gave them a C plus. All right, let's get to the defense. Bart, what grade you giving the defense? I gave the defense a C um, because I expected them to be a lot more dominant. I think that when Rudolph came in, he was able to move the ball down. I think you we have to figure out, you know, why Marcus May jump the short tight end, McDonald up the middle and leaving Bless on Austin on an island when it looks like he was playing leverage, expecting help, thinking that he was the guy who had the deepest guy. And, um, you know, they missed some opportune times to, to really capitalize on some things. You know, but all in all, I thought they played well. So I gave him just a solid C. They could have been a lot better. Um, really only three penalties in the game. You know, Juju being injured. They did what they needed to do against an offense that was struggling. Right. I'm with Bart. I gave him a C. Here's my thing. Hodges, the, the, I think he had, was, let me see. he had a quarter rating of 37. Mason Rudolph comes in and looks like he's John Elway. And that's an issue for me yeah. because although – He's better than Hodges is as a second quarterback, and nobody on that roster is as good as Ben Roethlisberger. But way too many easy throws yeah. for, for Rudolph, for me. I mean, I don't know if they went to prevent. And Jonas, what do I say about the prevent defense it before halftime? From winning. Thank you very much. No James Conner, too. So I thought they would be more dominant and take more chances once Conner went out of the game. Thought they have an opportunity to maybe be a little bit more aggressive and really set the tempo. All right, let's get to the special teams. And here's where the drama of the grades comes in here. Because the special teams had a pretty good day. Ooh. We know Ray does not like to give high marks Ooh. to special teams under any circumstance. Oh, yeah, they punted great today. Ray? The punting might not have been their high water mark. Ray, what grade do you give the special team? Hey, can we just, can we just, uh, why, my man, you're just so people know, right? Ray actually did play special teams. Oh, uh, yes, I did. And he that's, hates it. That's why, that's why I hold in such high regards. Okay, when you get a 28 yard punt, okay, when Jonas is doing teases and he's talking about A's, don't friggin' believe him because you know me. <laughs> I'm not doing it. 28 yard punt, fickety fickety, not too shabby. The grade is a C. Plus. What? Yeah. Wow. See, all because of a 28 yard punt. Okay. You're lucky it wasn't an F because oh, that right. almost lost us the damn game. So any play that special teams makes that almost loses the game, it's an F. But today, we got the cool. dub. All right. C plus. All right, Bart. Well, I gave him a C plus, but I don't have so much malice in my heart like this dude. This dude's like the Whoa. priest that stole Christmas. There's no, there's no malice. Yeah, I think you just don't. Well, like I, don't I don't really appreciate you know, like, that at all. You know how like the, when you F play a position? You, I, gave him a, F. I gave him a C plus, man. All right, what, what, what you trying to say? I give him a C plus. I, th I would have given him a B. Ficking was fa fantastic. Well, no, well, it's, for for me, it's the 28 yard punt. I mean, that, that was a pivotal opportunity there to pin him back and make him have the march to send. How come, how come it sounds field? different when he says it, but when I say it, because it's I not out. what you say sometimes; it's how you say it, Ray. He has graciousness in his heart. I give you, I give you, I give you. I love that. It's the graciousness in Bart Scott's heart. I don't have that. Come through. No, I don't have that. I'm Jersey. Let's get to the coaching staff. Bart, what grade you give the coaching staff? I gave him a solid C. Um, because I thought they, they had a great game plan. They were good when they were able to come up with the script, but I didn't think they made the adjustments. I think, you know, they had a team that they really could have put a lot of pressure on early on in the game and really put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Like I said before, you wanted them to come out, be able to go get ahead. They got ahead, but then they gave it the game back, and they seemed like in the second quarter, I don't know what happens in the second quarter. You know, I don't think they got a first down in the second quarter, and then that puts a lot of stress on your defense. And then, you know, on the other side, defensively, giving up blown coverages, being in that coverage and then really Marcus May late in the game I mean what a great play but he shouldn't have to make a great play on, on an a island like that on yeah. an island with a wide receiver where was the help there was nobody else in the pitcher it worked out well this time but the same thing make you laugh make you cry so I gave him a solid C because they got the dub would have been a D if it was worse right 
I'm with. Uh, watch, watch this, Mark. Say nice. Uh, solid C. Because uh, I, there's oh, a you problem. Made me sound like poor that's who I, am I? Uh, Carl, Carlton now? <laughs> no. Carl. What I want to say is this. <laughs> Carlton Banks? First quarter, <laughs> fire on the offense. Fire on the defense. Second quarter, disappeared. Okay, when you have a team like the Steelers, I said it before, I'll say it again. The gas, the pedal has to be to the floor. You know what I mean? We're, we're a team that on offense we haven't been consistent all year. It's 10 nothing. Now it's time to step on their throat and send them packing. You got the third string quarterback in. Rudolph comes in. I don't know what happened. We they look I like, seriously. I like thought for AC joined a cop. Yeah, like well, I mean, what the hell's going on? And then you do knock them out of the game. But adjustments are key components. You want to measure a great head coach, the adjustments that are made. And I don't think any adjustments are made on offense and defense for the first time all season. We did get the dub. I'll I'm take I'll take C's with wins. C. 